it's not bad. Hey guys, welcome back to my designated channel of random shit that I like to post. So today, I decided to go out of my comfort zone and do something very, very fucking crazy. Like, I never thought I would ever do this, but we're gonna try out Phil's coffee. And ignore that. As you guys know, Phil's coffee is really, really overhyped. I am I'm just saying it it's overhyped you guys see all the fa all your favorite youtubers are always drinking Phil's coffee Saying that Phil's is the best coffee ever. I've never tried it. So I'm not gonna say But we're gonna try it out today to see if it's really good coffee or if it's just one of those things where it's just overhyped There's literally a Phil's coffee Less than a mile away from where I, where I live the Phil's Coffee is 30 feet away from my work. There's, I, I can literally go to Phil's Coffee anytime I want, whenever I want. I can go to Phil's Coffee on my break. I've literally taken pictures at the Phil's drive-thru. It's been there for about, I want to say almost a year now. And I still haven't tried it. So, you know, I thought, why not? Like, let's go and try out Phil's Coffee to see what this hype is really all about, you know? So we're gonna head over to Phil's Coffee. I can't drive and vlog because I am a because I am a danger to society if I'm driving and vlogging because I I'm a good driver. Just if I get distracted, and we don't want to crash again because you know been there done that. We don't want to crash again. So I'll see you guys when I get to the Phil's parking lot. So we are at the parking lot now and no we are not at the parking lot of Phil's Coffee because Phil's Coffee is packed. So I had to park at the Panera parking lot because I have privilege of parking here because I work here and I can just put my tag on so they won't tow me. I love that. Um, also I wanted to point something out that I thought was kind of interesting is that as you guys know VidCon just happened. And I started watching some people's vlogs for VidCon and I, I noticed that a lot of people were coming to Phil's and As I started to notice I was like that looks really familiar like why does it look so familiar? Then I realized that a lot of people a lot of youtubers were at literally the Phil's coffee by my fucking house like mind blow We have our mint mojito. I got a medium. Why? I don't know. I should have got a small because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So, so far, first impressions. Looks nice. Uh, looks very nice. But so far, first impressions, it looks good. We're gonna try it. bad it's not the best thing ever but it's not bad i would give it like 8 out of 10 it's not the bombest coffee i've ever tasted in my life but it's not the worst ah no 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 <laughs> why jesus why i had one job <sighs> We are at the Panera parking lot right now. I'm kind of hungry because I have not ate. I'm gonna finesse myself into getting some free food right now. BRB. <laughs> Just finesse my way into some free food. <laughs> uh, secure the bag. And as I was sitting waiting for my food because these people were slow. I'm sorry, but I know they're my coworkers, but these hoes were slow. Like. I waited so long. I was sipping on my coffee, and all I gotta say is, the more I drank it, the better it got. Like, I don't wanna be that bitch, but this is bomb. Like, I'm sorry, but this is smack. Like, my first sip, it wasn't all that great. I'm not gonna lie, like, it wasn't all that great. It was like, whatever. But then I started drinking more and then more, and I don't know if it's just like, my palate got like, used to the taste. But this shit bomb. 
I don't know if it's the coffee kicking in that I'm just like out here, you know. But this should smack. I would definitely drink this again. I don't know if it's also because I'm getting to the bottom of it. So it's probably sweeter. But this is bomb. This is bomb. Ugh. I just had to parallel park in a tight ass parking spot. I'm super close to this car and the car behind me is super close. I don't know how I did it, but I did. I like to thank not only Jesus, but also Christ. Whew. I'm sweating out here because this shit was a mission. Final review. So, first of all, the way it works at Phil's Coffee, because I wasn't aware, and then I also, I missed the sign that kind of tells you the order you're supposed to, like, navigate through the cafe or whatever. And so the way it works is you wait in line. And then once you wait in line, you go up to the barista, and then you tell the barista, like, on the table, you're like, oh, this is what I want. And then from, she's like, okay, there. And then from there, you walk over to the other side of the counter, and then you pay. So it's like not your typical where you go straight up to the register and then order and then they call out your thing. No, like you go up to the barista, you tell them what they want, you go pay on the other side and then you come back and then the barista calls out your order and then you go and get it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I got the mint mojito because you know, it's the most popular one I've heard. Well, I've heard, well, from what I've heard, that's a popular drink that a lot of like popular YouTubers like to get. So I was like, why not? Let's try the mint mojito. And it is iced. Although it doesn't look like it, it is iced. But, I'm not gonna lie, the first few sips was disgusting. It could also be because I did not mix it. I just straight up just sipped it the way they gave me. So that could be one of the reasons why it wasn't all that great and why it tasted nasty. But, like I said earlier, the more I started to drink, the better it tasted. So it could have been that I just did not mix the drink, so it just wasn't good at first. But once it started to getting to the bottom, it started getting a little sweet, and I started getting the taste of the mint. And it was actually pretty good. So I'm not gonna lie, um, it was actually pretty decently good. Like, I wouldn't lie, I'll probably get this again. Like, actually, you'll probably see me at Phil's Coffee on my breaks now, getting a mint mojito, because it was actually pretty good. And I was kind of skeptical of going and trying it out because as i said earlier i asked around before i went to go get it because like i said phil's coffee is 30 feet away from where i work i asked around my co-workers and stuff to see if anyone had tried phil's coffee and to see like, what everyone thought and every single person told me that it was disgusting and that it was not good it could also be because at the time that all these people tried it was when they opened. So when Phil's Coffee opened, the one closest to me, they were giving out free coffees because they were training people how to do it. So it could have been that people weren't just, they were just not good at making coffee. So they made nasty coffee. So they kind of gave them the impression that it wasn't good. But now since it's been over a year, I'm pretty sure they got good at it. I hope they, they got good at it, but, but I'm not gonna lie. For the hype of Phil's Coffee, it's actually pretty good. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Because, you know, sometimes you people just overhype everything and you're just like, eh, not, no. It, it was actually pretty good. Would I get it again? Probably this drink, yeah. I haven't ventured out into the other drinks that they offer, but the mint mojito, I would definitely get it again. It was actually really good. And it actually gets better as you keep on drinking it. So I'm probably going to have to mix it the next time I get it because, yeah. But I drank it all, and Phil's coffee is approved by the normal human being. Approved. Now we're gonna eat my Panera that I finessed from work. Yeet. All right, this is it for the video. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.